All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to video number three with Dave Dees, world's greatest art teacher. And today we're going to be learning about something that is kind of frustrating, and I'm just making you do it, honestly, because art teachers have made me do it throughout my entire life. It's called a blind contour, and the rules are you cannot look at the page you are drawing on. You only look at the object you are drawing using the contour lines like what we learned about in last video. You only look at the object, not the paper, and you never lift your pencil. It's challenging, but it's worth it. At least that's what they tell me. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode three of Learn to Draw with Dave Dees. And this time, I'm going to be showing you about something. It's kind of annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a blind contour drawing which means that you are not allowed to look at the page at all while you draw this. You need, I'm going to be set up like this, so my hand is back here, and then my paper is all the way down here, and down here, and I'm going to be looking back like this, drawing like that. Give it our best shot. The secrets to this are, it teaches you how to look like an artist, like really to connect your eyes through your brain to your hand. That's a thing, just like lifting weights builds your muscles, uh, the same with drawing, you build that connection over time. You, you develop the skills that you practice. So we're going to practice this one. And this is, this is going to feel weird. It's going to feel tough. You're really going to want to look, and you're really going to want to pick your pencil up. You're not allowed to pick your pencil up over the course of the drawing either. The two things, don't look. If you look, I'll know. Everyone will know that you cheated. You will know. That's, Socrates would tell you that's the most important thing. But you will know, and you will be laying there in bed, and you'll be like, why did I look? Why did I look? He was trying to teach me how to be better at drawing, and I, I had to cheat. And who knows what kind of decisions you'll make later in your life. Or you could listen to me now, and we could take care of that before it even starts. Choice is yours. I'm not going to look. Seems pretty easy to me. I'm going to look over at my hand, and I'm not going to lift up my pencil at all once I start drawing, which is now. Now you have to remember, I'm not looking, but I can tell probably pretty perfect and details here i'm just doing my sammy the snail thing taking my hand through i can adjust my hand i just can't l lift the pencil everyone at home is probably amazed right now at how perfect this drawing is and that's just the way that i do things so you know i'm one of the greatest blind contour drawers of all time. And that's just going off the page is something that artists do. Bring it right back on the page. Finish all these details in. A lot of you probably won't have as many absolutely perfect details as I do going on in yours. Uh, because again, I've been a trained artisan for all these years of drawing. And it's really... This is one of the skills that I just already have in the bag. I'm already off the page again. Okay, that's good. That was what I was hoping for, was to be. I was like, I, I think I'm coming up on the edge of the page now. Probably right where I want to be. Okay, I think I remember where I'm drawing. Yeah, I'm here. Of course, now I've got it locked in in my brain. Back to perfection. See how easy that was? Just stay focused. I'm going to go ahead and draw this in here. Back here, come back and down here. Try to get, make sure I get that angle perfect. Don't lift my pencil. And then the last thing I got to do is here we got come in right here, and we got some lines that cross the hand. At this point, you're like, is he just showing off with the uh, the fact that he can do these lines in the middle of the hand? I just I figure you're probably still working on yours. That's okay for your. Come off the side of the page. That's good. And that's how you know you're finished. That's how I know it when I'm finished, because that was when I was planning it, was to be finished right as I hit the edge of the page. Or, and now I'm going to look. And there we go. Yours will not be as much better than mine as you think that it's going to be. I want you to draw at least three of these. You're going to get better with time. I bet you if I did another one of these that the bottoms would come in a little bit. I'd do a better job of like remembering where my line was and finishing it up. I can't, I can't guarantee you that. But uh, make sure you go ahead, smash that like, do your three more drawings so you'll have 
four pages done in your sketchbook, along with the two that we already have from the previous lessons. If you didn't do my line lesson or my contour line lesson, go back and do those so that you can be with the whole program. Because what I'm doing is I'm giving you a free course in how to draw better. And all you have to do is follow the instructions, do the assignments, and you will get better because you're being taught by the greatest teacher in the history of mankind and also the entirety of the future of mankind. You're truly lucky that you happen to have stumbled upon this act of altruism by one of the world's greatest humans ever. So smash that like and make sure you subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Tune in for next episode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your homework today for Blind Contours is to draw three full page blind contour drawings. You saw today that sometimes it goes outside the page, that's okay. Leave yourself the space if you go off the edge, it's what happens. I just want you to have three pages where you try to draw realistic blind contours without lifting your pencil and without looking at your paper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last thing that I wanted to say. This is gonna be at the end of every video, I do believe. When you are done with your homework, Take it on over to the Discord and turn it into the art submissions. We want to see what you're working on. I will pop in from time to time, usually around 4 o'clock in the morning. Don't get weirded out by that. And I will give you feedback on the work that you have done. So make sure that you check the link below so that you can get to our Discord and you can join these submissions and start putting your art out there for people to see, give you feedback, help you get better at. I got a bunch of artists that have already gone through my class that hang out in there, and if you think you're gonna do something funky, you're not, because my mods are gonna get you. You understand what I'm saying? I might be a boomer, but my mods are powerful zoomers. I'm not challenging you though. Please don't mess with my, please, just be nice. Just do the artwork.